Hello and welcome to this ZenWorks Highlights on ZenWorks System Updates. This video will highlight the ZenWorks System Updates process. Obtaining the ZenWorks System Updates are done in a couple of ways. NCC will automatically bring down system updates via scheduled times in the ZCC. This was initiated in ZCM 1140. Also manually downloading from download.novell.com will give you the base product version and service packs. From that page, if you select Search Patches, this will show you the patches for that product version. Product major and minor version upgrades are performed via .iso file. System updates are performed via .zip files. To understand system update identification, in relation to the GUID provided, the first 10 digits are key. 50 represents system update. 11, the product version or major version. 04 is the service pack or minor version. 02 is a revision or patched number. 00 is always zeros except for the build to build updates or frues. The last 10 digits is the date and timestamp. System update best practices include running the Zenworks Diagnostic Center on your system using the proper ZDC version, backup or snapshot the database, and primary server. Verify the manually downloaded files with MD5 checksum verifier. Do not extract the manual download.zip file. The system update process will do the extraction. At the command prompt, type system update import command to import the update to ZCC. This command reads as follows. Zman sui system update file name.zip. Also, do not remove older available system updates in ZCC without contacting technical support. For instance, the post 11 SB4 update prereq is required until 11.4.1 or higher is baselined. Before deploying the agent, make sure the system update has completed successfully on all primary servers. And also, make sure replication of the packages is complete on all the primary servers. Then upgrade the satellites before upgrading the managed devices. Many logs come into play with an upgrade. The logs are typically in the Zenworks home directory, and the primary logs are the Zenworks underscore upgrade underscore date timestamp dot log dot XML file, the loader dash messages dot log, the pre global dash actions dot log, the system dash update dot log that's in the GUID representing the update. Do not remove older system update logs for historical install reference. This is a great reference for technical support. A couple of documentation tips. TID 7017201 is a system update cookbook which has links to documentation and videos to help you complete your upgrade properly. Also of course the documentation site and just recently system update part 1 technical webinar on cool solutions just came out which is a deeper dive into the system update process. Let's have a walkthrough. We've done a backup of the database and the system We've run a ZDC, ZenWorks Diagnostics, on the version we're currently running. So we went out to the download site and downloaded the ZDC for 11.4.0. Opening a browser, going to download.novell.com. Under the download products, this will give you the ZenWorks versions and service packs. So if we submit this query, we can see that we have 20 files. And those files are listed here. If you proceed to download, you'll see the MD5 verification checksums. If we go to patches, we could then search for patches for the ZCM 11 SP4. This will display the various patches, PRUs, uh, different updates as well as the update prereq that's required. The update prereq is our, the next one we need to deploy. So if we go to this location to download, we'll see the hash here.
by noting the hash. We would then go over to our server and we have an MD5 hash tool. We'll browse to the post that we downloaded. Calculate the MD5 hash and compare. So that looks correct. So that file is good to go. If we go to infrastructure management, this is where you'd set your NCC downloads to automatically recurring. I have this one set to every one day at 1138 to start. You can set a specific primary server to do this download. If it is not set, you can go to Action and check for updates. Before we do so, we're going to run the Zman SUI command to import the update prereq. So if we now look over on our system updates in ZCC, we can see this has come in. And it's currently downloading. And it's completed. It's now downloaded. If we went to check for updates, it will use NCC and find the updates that are available for your system. And we can see that there are a few different updates. This one we already imported. Had we not imported it, it would have been on the list to download. At this time, we will go ahead and download the 11.4.2 via NCC. It is currently downloading. Notice 11.4.1 went away because 11.4.2 supersedes it. We will wait for this to download. Now that that is downloaded, if we try to authorize out of order, it will let us know that it cannot be done. We'll go ahead and authorize this. And then we'll deploy to our primary server. some of the logs to look at. You can see that the update is assigned. This is 1140 post, which is signified by the 0A currently working on extracting that data and getting ready to post. As you can see now, the post is in here and it's starting to do its commands. And it started on the server. that server had its services restart. The post update will restart services on its own, so it will consequently log me out of the ZCC. Let's go back over here and look. At this point in time, it's rebuilding deployment packages. We'll wait for it to complete successfully before moving on. Now that that is successful, we can authorize the 11.4.2 and deploy it.
one thing to check is if you have multiple primary and satellite servers to make sure this replication is at 100 percent. After we update this, we'll deploy it to any satellites and managed devices. Again, the post is only for Zenworks servers, so you should be able to do that fairly quickly. Then the 11.4.2 will take some time. After the 11.4.2 is done, you can run ZDC for the 11.4.2 code that would be running on this primary server to verify and make sure that all system files and database schemas verified and the integrity is intact. This concludes our Zenworks highlights on Zenworks system updates. Thank you.